I started singing with local musicians uh, in my community. Playing live, meeting people, and writing songs. Carter Stanley, uh, J.D. Crow, uh, Pete Goble, uh, Gene Watson, and Ronnie Millsap. Once I have an idea, I usually write the uh, melody first and then uh, the lyrics, but uh, sometimes it's the other way around, but most of the time, uh, melody first. Here's Bluegrass Boys with a basic guitar. Now we've been known to tie one on and round up a rowdy crew. I get real loud with a dancing crowd and see who can out dance who. So if you want to have a good party, you can always count on us. We're just Bluegrass Boys kicking up. Well, put yourself uh, in the song uh, at the time you're recording it. Well, at that time, there was probably more uh, banjo players uh, used the claw hammer style than the picks uh, when I was growing up. So a lot of the old timers uh, would uh, uh, sit around and play and we'd just watch them and uh, uh, basically, that's how I picked up on it, uh, the old claw hammer style. Well, I would tell them uh, to sing and write as well as play. Uh, there's a lot of bluegrass uh, young people out there that uh, you see playing, but uh, they're kind of hesitant on singing. And, uh, and especially writing, so I would suggest uh, singing and writing, for sure. Uh, well, I think the music can grow with different styles, but uh, always keep the roots uh, of, the, uh, of the bluegrass. The one that comes to mind is uh, when we was in uh, Helsinki, Finland. We had been there about five, six days, and uh, everybody was getting pretty homesick at that time. So me and another member of the band, we told uh, the other two members that uh, we was going right on to Ireland for another two weeks. And they was just uh, in, totally in shock, just about ready to cry. Well, it's a mixture of uh, bluegrass, uh, gospel, old time, and old country. May 4th, 
May 18th, June 1st, July 18th, and July 26th. And just go to Facebook for times uh, on those shows.